Welcome on into this options trading tutorial. We are talking of the butterfly spread options trading strategy here in this video. And there are going to be four parts to this strategy. So we're going to dive in, walk step by step through some examples, how this works, how you can go about doing this. And we're going to be using the Weeble platform. So we'll leave a link down below in the pinned comment and description box. If you want to use the same platform that we are using, you can do this on many options trading platforms. But the example we're going to use is on Weeble free platform. And they give you some bonuses when you deposit any amount into a brand new account. So that'll be down below so you can follow along with us. Let us dive right in. Uh, all I ask is for a like or a subscribe if you guys got something out of the video uh, and you can decide that at the end of the video if you would like to. So here we go. We are looking at butterfly spreads. We'll give you guys a brief overview and then we'll dive into it because when it comes down to it, reading is not, it doesn't help me. It really doesn't. I look at this stuff and I'm like, uh, okay, cool. But you know, how, how do I do it? How do I go buy it, right? How do I go do that? So this is what we're going to be diving into. And you also need to make sure that you have the options trading kind of qualification. And to do that, you can go through the app or a quick Google search will help you kind of apply for the options trading or at least level up if you need to, um, depending upon your account and your profile and your risk tolerance and all that different stuff. You'll fill out like a little questionnaire when you sign up and create an account to get options trading enabled. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of go through this briefly. Understanding a butterfly spread. Brought to you by Investopedia. It's a great place to honestly go if you got questions when it comes to things like this. They're helpful, okay? So what we are gonna be doing is essentially we are looking at a stock and, or it could be an ETF, whatever you're trading. And we are looking at this stock and we want this stock potentially to not move. Well, we can utilize butterfly spreads and actually make money if the stock doesn't move, which is how we're gonna do that, right? This is the example, okay? There's also ways to utilize butterfly spreads to make money if a stock goes in either direction up or down. And so you can kind of make money a bunch of different ways. So it's not like you have to do it a certain way. There's actually a bunch of different ways to go about this. And we'll explain that and we'll show you how easy it is to switch back and forth, how, you know, with different kind of methods on the Weeble platform. But generally speaking, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be combining a bull and a bear spread. And this is essentially a neutral strategy. Uh, and you'll use four option contracts with the same expiration date, but three different strike prices. Okay, so you're gonna look at three different strike prices, and this may be confusing, but hopefully we can kind of break it down step by step so we can dive into it. Let us dive into the different types of butterfly spreads because on the surface, we can talk about them, but we need to dive into each one because they are different. Okay, so the long call butterfly spread. So what does this mean? This means we are going to be buying calls, long calls, we're buying calls, okay? So that's the base, or I guess the core of this strategy. So let us now dive into a long call butterfly spread. We are now on the Weeble platform and here we are looking at Apple. We're gonna use Apple as our example because it's pretty straightforward in terms of how we can go about doing this. So on our chart, we're going to go up to the options tab. Now, there are plenty of videos already on this channel that cover how to build out a customized layout, Weeble tutorials, all that stuff. So check out those videos on the Weeble tutorials playlist. Great place to go if you guys wanna learn more about that. So we go over here, we pull up the option chain, okay? Now, traditionally, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see this right here, okay? This is the single option chain. So if you wanna buy a call, you wanna buy a put, you wanna bet on Apple to go up or down by a certain date, here, here you go, that's what you'll do. But now what we wanna do is we want to utilize this and what we want to do is we want to play some spreads. So let's go to the end of the year. Let's, let's go to a December 31st, which actually happens to be a Friday, which kind of lines up really nice at the end of the year. Now up in the top left where it says single option, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to butterfly. This is going to be Weeble doing it all essentially for me. Okay. So now let us say, let's go back to the chart. Okay. Let's say that we're looking at Apple right here and we're saying to ourselves, you know, we see Apple in a range and we don't think Apple is going to break out of this range. We don't think Apple is going to go anywhere. We think Apple is going to pretty much stay where it's at. And we say our range is roughly in this kind of zone between 153 and looks like about 147. Okay. And we don't think Apple is going to move out of that range. I would argue it probably goes higher. By the time you're watching this video, you might, if I had to bet, probably goes higher unless, unless the market pulls back more substantially, but we'll see how it plays out, right? Hindsight after the fact, maybe you guys can tell us what happened. All right. So let's say we go into here and we go ahead and we go and try, let's say this contract right in here. Okay. 
Now we can zoom in on this and, and talk about what this means and how this is gonna work in just one second. But on the surface, you may start off with something like this. So when you go to your order entry, okay, you're probably going to see something like this. And if you don't get to this page, what you'll wanna do is either right click or control click on the option contract and go to buy. And then that's how you'll then get to the order entry page right there. So we have essentially three legs on the long call butterfly strategy. So we're gonna be buying calls at a certain level and then a higher level. And we anticipate Apple is going to finish by the end of this expiration date, whatever time frame that is. So for me in this example, the end of the year, December 31st, I think Apple is going to be between these two strike prices, okay? And then where we see the middle ground, the middle ground of those strikes. So in this case, we have the 148s and the 150 strike prices. The middle ground is 149. That's the strike price in between. What we're then going to do on that leg, we are going to sell two contracts. This is going to make up for the one that we bought ahead and the one that we also bought below. Okay. So this is going to make up for that. So in this case, we currently have quantities of 10. Let's bring this down to one so you guys can see this a little bit better. So we would buy the 148 calls. We're going to sell two 149s and we're going to buy one 150. This trade is going to result in a net debit. I am going to have to pay money out of my account, $12. That's at the bottom of the screen right there. And that is what it's gonna tell us. Now I'm gonna to go to the graph so I can time this out or plan this out in my head and say, okay, is this, does this make sense? Do I actually wanna do this? Is it, is it a good idea, okay? So what we're seeing by this, right? It's costing us $12. In the bottom right, we see a max loss. That max loss is 12. What we paid is what our max loss is. And how we achieve that max loss is Apple would finish this period by the expiration date, Apple is going to end up either being below 148 or above 150, okay? That would achieve our max loss. Our max profit here in this case is $88. Now, obviously, the more contracts you play, the more you know these numbers are going to be you know substantial, up or down. So in this case, the risk reward looks really nice. We're gonna risk 12 to make 88. So how do we achieve that 88? Well, Apple would have to finish this period right at 149. Chance of that happening, probably pretty low. So good chance we, we end up somewhere in this range if Apple does kind of, you know, finish inside of that 150 to 148 range. Good chance we finish somewhere in here. And there's a good chance, right, we'll make a few bucks to, you know, maybe 75, something along those lines if we get pretty close to that middle ground of Apple. Now, of course, I can always go ahead and change my strike prices if I would like to. So I can go ahead and shift that up here on the top of this screen. I can increase or decrease the width. So what is this gonna do? That's gonna increase the width of kind of this range that I'm looking for. So if I increase the width, let's say to five, right? Now, what that means is I am going to be buying one the 145 contract, also buying the 155, so I have a $10 range I want Apple somewhere in that $10 range, and I'm gonna be selling two of the 150s, which is right in the middle of that split. So yeah, it gives me more range. It's gonna cost me $119 to get into this position, but my potential profit is $381 if I'm right and Apple finishes right at 150. So this right here is the long call butterfly strategy. Now, when it comes down to putting this order through, right, you can go ahead and use the table, or you can go ahead and use the graph. What you will need to do is go to the limit price right here. What I would recommend is I would recommend taking the limit price and taking it down a couple notches. Why? Because what we're doing right now is we are trying to get in a bunch of option contracts, okay, at the same time. So it's it might take longer and it might be more difficult. So if we wanna get filled right away, yeah, we can up this limit price and get filled right away and we're in. But if you wanna get a better price, maybe dropping this down a couple notches, a couple cents, a couple notches here, and in this case, depending on how many contracts you're buying, this could be you know, substantial. We drop this down, and if we give it a minute or two and it doesn't fill, we can come back in and edit our order in our orders tab on Weeble, and we can go and up that limit price a couple cents. So I would recommend going about it in some way like that, because this way you can kind of get yourself a better price, especially if things pull back, if option contracts, they're always changing. So you need to make sure that you're playing stocks that have a lot of volume and you have contracts here that have volume. If you're playing contracts on some random penny stock, they might have volume when it's hot, 
but that volume is going to go away. So it may not be the best stock you want to trade when you're looking at a strategy like this. Okay. This right here, that was the long call butterfly spread. Now we'll kind of pick things up a little bit because we kind of went through how this generally works. Now let's go to the short call butterfly spread. So now we are selling one in the money call option with a lower strike, buying two at the money or roughly in between or in the middle, wherever we're looking at that middle ground we talked before, and then selling an out of the money option. So, okay, go back to this page right here. Let's say we use the exact same strike prices as this example, okay? So we got the 145s, the 155s, and the 150s. And I, all I got to do, all I have to do for this, up in the top right, instead of click on buy, sell. Click it once, it'll change to sell. Now it's the exact opposite. The strategy just flips, which is really cool. So we're buying two call options at 150. We're selling one at 145 and we're selling one at 155. This is going to result in a net credit in our account, okay? So we are going to essentially get paid to do this. Now, when we close out our position, we could be paying money back or we close it out with 118 being our max profit, okay? Now, why is this important? Why is that? How is that our max profit? Because we're getting a credit for this, okay? The only way for us to get screwed here is if Apple ends up finishing right down the middle, right at 150. If Apple ends up finishing at 145 or lower or 155 or higher, well, guess what? We're green. We keep the credit that we initially got, that 118, that's ours. Nothing happens, okay? That's what you need to know when it comes down to this strategy, okay? So this ultimately also, I would probably recommend as you get close to the expiration date, if you're going to realize your max profit, you never know what could happen. Take it off the table, take your options off. Even if you have an option that may expire worthless or things are gonna expire and you don't have to do anything, always would recommend on that last day, that last week, depending upon the time frame, take your options off, set a limit order pretty close to your max profit. And if it hits, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about some last second craziness. All of a sudden, Apple has some horrible news. And next thing you know, there's like some massive, you know, huge lawsuit. Who knows? And Apple just comes crashing down. Apple was at like 160. Next thing you know, it expires or it finishes the day at 150 within minutes. And now all of a sudden you hit your max loss when you were, you know, pretty much guaranteed a max profit there. So that's what you have to kind of just understand or know. I would recommend closing out your positions once you're pretty nicely in the green or you've kind of reached a point where you're comfortable or you're getting very close to the expiration and you want to just lock it in. You don't want to have any funny business. You don't want to have any craziness happen. That's it. But in this case, again, what we're noticing here is that the way we make money is Apple expires in either of the directions up or down. The way we lose is Apple expires right in the middle and we could lose a lot in this case. And so this would be a higher likelihood trade. Why? Because we are going to see that our max profit is smaller than our max loss of $382 at the bottom of the screen right here. That's because there's certainly a very good chance by the end of the year that Apple, you know, pushes up, you know, $4 and is up into our max profit and boom, you know, so that's why I think that this is a, you know, a strategy or this is at least an option contract. That's a high probability, but again, you know, your max profit isn't going to be massive because again, how much skill is there in this not as much. The skill is if you can nail exactly where this thing closes and you can close and play, let's say the buy side on the long call butterfly spreads. If you nailed this thing perfectly and you close this thing out and Apple was right at 150 or very, very close to it. I mean, that's where the money's made. That's where a lot of the money's made. But again, a really good strategy could be playing the opposite side, playing the short butterfly call where you're selling a call down here, selling one up here, and then you're buying two in the middle, okay? Playing it that way is a lot higher likelihood, let's be honest. So if you bring this width down and say, okay, as long as Apple doesn't end up closing out, you know, in this range of 142 to 148, I'm good. I'm locking in gains. I'm going to make money. Now, yeah, it could be a great way to pad yourself a couple extra bucks a month or a week or uh, every year if you wanted to on something along these lines. So it's worthwhile. It's a worthwhile strategy to add to your tool belt. Now let's dive into the short side or the put side. We're talking the long put butterfly spread. So now I wanna go back to our Apple play right here. I'm gonna to go to the option chain. All I'm gonna do, I was on the left-hand side, guys. This is calls, left-hand side. I'm gonna to go to the right-hand side and go to puts. So I'm gonna go here, control, buy, just like that. Here we are on the put side. So now, okay, we gotta change this a little bit. So we'll go into the option entry here, the table, 
we'll bring it down. We're going to go with one contract here. We're not going to be investing too much. And again, with one contract in this case, we are dealing with the Apple strike price. Let's actually bring this in right here. Okay, so we change the strike price around. We have the 147s, 149s, and 148s, okay? Let's change the quantity right here to one. We're gonna be buying one of the 147 puts, selling two 148 puts, and then buying one of the 149 puts here on Apple. Okay, that's what we got right there. Let us go over to the graph page right here, and here it is. As of right now, it's going to cost us $0.06 cents for this, and our max loss will be $0.06 cents if this is kind of how it all plays out. And of course, these prices could change, the market's open and whatnot. And if we get Apple to end up finishing right in here, it looks like 148 would be our middle point, we're going to make $92 on this, okay? That's pretty straightforward. Again, the exact same thing. We're just using puts in this case rather than calls. And if I was to go to the sell side, click on the top right, sell, it's the opposite right here. So we're gonna get a credit of six bucks. And as long as Apple expires or finishes by this expiration date, which is the end of the year, in the range of 147 to zero or 149 to infinity, then we're good. We're gonna keep our six bucks. However, if it ends up closing inside of this middle ground between 147 and between 149, then we could end up in the red and have to pay back essentially to close out our position because we originally got $6 credit. We're paying you back up to, looks like in this case, up to $94 as the max loss if we were to expire right in the middle, okay? So there you guys have it. Let us know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. I know it was kind of a lot, but hopefully the graph, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully it was easier to visualize, easier to see. I would recommend you do this on your own. Definitely check out the link down below for Webull if you don't already have access to this platform. Very easy visual kind of representation here before you get in. And of course, before you ever enter, mess around with that, with that limit price. Don't be afraid to bring it down, pay less, or try to get a higher credit initially. And if you have to go back and adjust after you submit it and never gets filled, you can go back and adjust because you are dealing with a lot of option contracts at once. And so getting the, the best price may be a little more difficult here. And so you could deal with a little bit of that action that could end up, you know, being the difference in a couple dollars here or a couple hundred dollars, depending upon how many contracts you're playing with. So let us know in the comments down below your thoughts. Hit the thumbs up button if you got something out of the video. Consider subscribing. Check out our other videos here on this channel. We have a lot of videos where that came from when it comes to Weeble tutorials, other option tutorials, candlesticks, a lot where that came from. Also a technical analysis trading course down below in the description box if you're interested. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.